Sometimes before I begin a project, I know there's certain condition issues that I'm just not going to be able to do anything about. And that was the case with this vintage wedding dress donated by a friend and follower that belonged to her grandmother. It had satin scuffing and holes, and there's just really not much I could do about that. This unique collar had some damage on it, so that I could repair, and the button issues I could repair. I did start with soaking it in Orvis. There really wasn't much for discolorations. So this was just going to be a brief soak just to kind of give it a clean. And I started to air dry it on the mesh rack, finished air drying on the mannequin as I'd like to do, gave it a press, and then now to address that torn collar issue. To replace the fabric, I needed to dye it because it was white. I started off with tea that was just not the right shade. So then I tried onion skins and I will be darned if that did not do the trick it was so close that I'm like this is this is gonna work so the button situation I kind of did some swapping took some from the back to use on the arms the back was originally tied I ended up using a vintage buckle from my collection which I absolutely love how that turned out and here is just I think this dress is absolutely gorgeous glamorous and here it has its little bits of damage here and there but that's part of its history and there's Esther wearing it in 1934 and now the dress is ready again 90 years later.